Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, hopefully, today is going to be just a get ready with me chit chat um, with some questions from Instagram. This is about the scope of what I'm going to be filming over quarantine um, because obviously we're all just home all day, so there's not much to film. I am going to be putting out some fitness and um, healthy recipe inspired videos because I was supposed to have started 75 hard April 1st. Spoiler alert, I have not started yet. Ugh. Because the first few days that I started, I was having a lot of trouble with water intake. So I asked on Instagram for help with tips on water intake because I want to do this right. And I'm going to restart with uh, some people from Instagram who also want to do it with me. Um, so those videos are coming, but I thought today it'd be really do a really relaxed video. A lot of you have requested like a little makeup video and I suck at these. I'm not telling you this is gonna be the greatest video you've ever seen from me. I'm horrible at these makeup videos and I keep looking at my viewfinder because the lighting and the focusing, it just is not happening today for some reason. So bear with me. I also had to cover my TV with my blanket because all you could see was the ring light in it and it was very distracting. I was trying to cover it with my head but then as I moved it was just blinding. So that's why I have a random <laughs> blanket. This whole backdrop is such a weird thing but this is where I have to film right now. People are in the bathroom. Um, it's a full house during quarantine. Everyone's always here all the time so this is not my finest backdrop it'll have to do for this video. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my eyes. This is what I normally start with whenever I am doing makeup in general, unless I'm not doing eyeshadow, then I just start with a normal foundation. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and put concealer on and pull up the Instagram questions. If I don't tell you guys exactly what I'm using, I'm gonna link everything down below in the description box because I'm gonna start talking and I know I'm gonna forget to say certain things. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this concealer to prime my eyes and then I will pull up some questions on Instagram. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the top of the list and go down and answer all these questions. But the first question just happens to be, how is living with your parents different than you expected? Is it different than you expected? Um, so I'm also using the Jaclyn Hill palette, if you guys are curious, just this area and this area. So basically all the browns and the nudes, which is what I live for, it matches everything. Um, it's not different than I expected really because um, like I remember living with them growing up so I kind of know like what they expect whenever someone lives here. My sister actually lived here for two years um, recently. I think they've been, I think she moved out like a year and a half ago at this point, uh, maybe two years ago now. And um, so I would obviously hear stuff from her. And I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty much what I expected. But, I mean, we still butt heads and stuff like that. Like, I'm an adult now. I'm a mom. I have three little ones. So there's times that we all may get on each other's nerves, which is completely normal. But I didn't expect it to be perfect. But for the most part, everything is wonderful. And having them here and me being here, I should say, has been very helpful, especially with the kids. And I'm also in nursing school full-time, now online nursing school with everything going on. But whenever we were going into clinicals and I was going into classes, there was one morning I had to be there at 6.45. So my mom actually would get everyone up and ready and take them to school and daycare, which was such a big help. The next question is, um, I struggle with explaining why I need makeup. What do you say? Um, interesting. She says, I'm struggling with why I need makeup explaining why I don't understand who um, you're explaining it to if you're explaining it to like your husband or yourself for me I feel like no one needs makeup obviously I feel like everyone is beautiful the way that God made them however I I obviously love makeup I wear it all the time I wear a lot of it and I just feel like it helps me because I enjoy the process of putting it on but when I put it on I just feel like I get so much more done I feel more confident, I feel productive. If I'm gonna sit on, the sit on the couch all day and have a messy bun and sweats, I'm not gonna do as much versus when I get up, get dressed and do my hair and makeup. Even if it's just combing my hair and throwing on a new shirt and putting mascara on, I'm telling you there's something about the way that you feel when you do something like that, at least for me. So that's why I feel like I need it because um, I enjoy it, but I also feel like I get more done 
and I mean it just helps my self-esteem like to be honest like, I have the world's worst skin like you guys can probably see it of course of all days at the film this I have like horrible things going on on my face underneath and so makeup to me makes me feel better because I can cover it up and at 28 I never thought I'd still have skin problems but <laughs> my neighbor just walked across the thing and it scared me um but makeup covers up my skin issues and without makeup I think I would just be unhappy because it just doesn't look good to me and I don't feel good going out obviously not in public right now but when I do go out in public and I can go out in public I like to have makeup on so whoever's asking you to explain to them I would just tell them the truth like I either feel more confident or I want to or just because the next question says, favorite lately, TV, food, podcast, and makeup. Let's talk about food, y'all, because I've been eating everything that I possibly can during this quarantine. That's why I am like, no, I'm doing 75 hard. I'm not going to wait till the quarantine is over. I honestly cannot wait till it's over because I will have gained, I'm telling you, probably 10 to 12 pounds by that point. I just, I cannot get myself off of eating when I'm bored. It's a horrible habit to have. My whole life though, I've been that way. I have been a very bored eater. I've been a stress eater. And it's, I mean, it's not good. And I'm, I'll be honest, I, I have been struggling with that already. And we've been quarantined, I think, for almost three weeks here. So um, the strict quarantine rules just started though, about a week ago. And I mean, I'm telling you guys, I, I'm a bored eater and it's terrible. So I've been eating everything. I'm really addicted to macaroni and cheese, like the, ma the microwave Velveeta cups. However, um, I'm about to actually start meal prepping. Come on, Stephen. And once I start meal prepping, I generally do really, really well. It's just the process of actually getting everything cooked and I normally am pretty straight once I do that. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll share some of those meal ideas here on YouTube. And for those of you who are actually going to be doing 75 hard with me, um, I'm just going to do a little bit of the shimmer in the inside. But um, TV lately, I haven't been watching a ton of TV unless it's what the kids are watching, like some Doc McStuffins over here. I mean, that's been pretty lit lately, <laughs> listening to that theme song all day. But my mom actually last night, I've been studying, trying to study a lot during this time because nursing school online is 100% almost impossible. But my mom got me to watch something called The 4400 on Netflix last night. It's an older show, but I have never seen it and I've heard about it. But um, I watched two episodes of that last night and it's actually very interesting and I, I really want to watch some more of it. So I'm probably going to go ahead and start watching that, like maybe an episode every other night or something like that, because um, it's actually really interesting. And her and I have really similar tastes in shows, which is helpful since we live together now. Okay, I'm going to put on the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I actually bought this on a like recent vlog, and I'm still using it. It's halfway gone already, and I love this foundation. I have oily skin, and this foundation has just really been working for me. Okay, a lot of questions about this. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to, but Tiger King on Netflix. If you have not seen it, I'm sure most of you have seen it, the Tiger King documentary. After I saw some memes come out, I thought, okay, this is, seems like it's my speed. I like really quirky, weird things. And, um, <laughs> I mean, I didn't love it. It is very interesting though. And I obviously have opinions. Um, Y'all knew I'd like it. Like, a lot of you guys said watch it until, like, for me to say if I thought um, Carol Baskins killed her husband. So let's talk about that. Um, I honestly think, and I'm being wholeheartedly here, like wholehearted and truthful. Is that even right, wholehearted? Um, I think she had at least a part in it. Like, I truly, truly believe that she had a part in her first husband's death oh but I also see that they're reopening the case like the is it Florida is reopening the case or I forget they live in Florida I can't remember um and I feel like she had an absolute part in it there's just the way they showed some interviews of her whenever the crime had just happened and he was missing 
and just her, just her demeanor demeanor says a lot about you that's why you guys remember the, i'm sure you remember the, the chris watts case um he murdered his pregnant wife and his two daughters and shoved his daughters down an oil well and buried his wife in a shallow grave um absolutely terrible case the first interview i saw of him when they were reported missing and then media coverage started i knew he did it you can just tell a lot by someone's demeanor you know and i mean i would have been shocked if he had nothing to do with it um but i feel like all of america knew he did it but that's how i feel about carol it just seems like something's odd but i actually asked about this on instagram and someone mentioned that in costa rica where he was last seen traveling to or last was heard to travel to that there's a lot of like drug cartels there and they were thinking maybe that had something to do with it which is possible but i don't really know much about the drug activity in costa rica i'm not really well versed on that but uh it's very plausible but i just feel like with everything going on carol was not about to lose those cats y'all she loves those cats more than i think she loves her current husband even and I feel like she had something to do with her first husband's death so that's where i stand let me know where you are and if you have not seen it yet let me know in the comments because i feel like everyone that i know has seen that documentary and i was way late to the game i'm going to use the tarte shape tape concealer this is the best concealer of all time i've said this i've been using this for years if i've ever done a makeup video on my channel before which i have um it's been this i haven't moved anything else in like a long time A lot of questions about sleep training the twins um okay so we used the ferber method it's one that i looked up and i felt the most comfortable with there's obviously a lot of different methods and this is a very controversial subject like sleep training in general but i think they were around 18 weeks or so i can't remember exactly how close they were to that time and um we started doing the ferber method and it's not as crazy i don't know it's not, it's not crazy but it's not as extreme as the cry it out method you have to look it up i actually found a chart on pinterest about it and that's, that's what i use so basically you lay one down or if you my camera cut off but basically i have two babies obviously twins i would just lay them down in bed in their cribs in their room that's actually I actually slept in the room with um my at the time my husband and i um we had them in pack and plays in our room and then once we started sleep training we did it as soon as we put them in their cribs in their room i'm not sure if that's exactly how you should do it but that's just how it ended up working out i wanted them in the room with us for a while um i would lay them down and then if one of them started to whine or they both started to whine i would wait like one minute and then i'd go in you know shush them you don't pick them up and leave the room again if they cried again you'd wait like a minute and 15 seconds then if they are still crying you go in and i think we only ever got to like two and a half minutes three minutes and we did we did that for um like three or four nights my girl twin never had an issue you guys she's been my best sleeper of all, all the kids that i have um she was the best sleeper by far and my son however he was the one that needed it but i think it was only like four days and he was fine um he did go through every sleep regression that has been possible she's never had a sleep regression ever they're just completely opposite babies but every time he has a sleep regression um same method i'm still doing the same method um i never would go in and offer him a bottle in the middle of the night because my pediatrician said that if he didn't need it before he didn't need it now just because he was going through a regression so i never got started on that i know that sometimes if you do that it's really hard to break the habit okay i'm just gonna set I actually set the powder I, I use the maybelline fit me um powder there's actually powder in it right now but i use the sponge under my eyes and um the brush everywhere else i cannot get my words together today i'm gonna try to talk during this and answer a question but if i just stop talking you'll know it's because i completely lost my train of thought trying to focus um here's a question I'm just going to read it like it said because I like how they just got right to the point. So excuse the language. How has the nosy ass people that comment on everything affect your communication with your ex-husband? Um, so recently there's been, I think it's the same person creating multiple accounts. 
um, of course under fake names because they never want to use their real name. Um, just kind of being nasty because for some reason the fact that my ex and I are very civil with each other, which has been a dream. It wasn't always this way, but it recently has gotten this way and we have put everything aside to be civil for our children and to agree on things so that we can split up amicably and that we don't ruin our friendship. Um, it took a lot on my part, a lot of forgiveness and praying to be able to forgive and forget and just to not be upset and mad and constantly feel like I want to hold it and always use it, you know? Like if we get in an argument to say, well, this is this, 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 and this, you know? Um, of course, keeping a lot of details a secret has kind of bitten me in the butt because people have said things that I could squash immediately if I were to just be open and honest about things. But since I made the decision not to, which I still am happy with that decision, it just kind of causes a lot of friction sometimes with people who feel like they're entitled to know your business. Um, like I know that it's shocking, but people who YouTube still have a right to some kind of privacy. And I think that it, it should be respected when they decide to keep something private. Um, but I don't know why it's offensive to some people that Brian and I are civil with each other. I can't figure that out. I don't know if it's jealousy because maybe they had a breakup and they weren't able to be amicable with each other. But I worked really hard and prayed really hard to be able to forgive. And we both work really hard to be nice to each other. And it's working out wonderfully. So if anything, we communicate more now because we always talk about the comments that come through. And we kind of, we honestly kind of laugh about them together sometimes because it's just shocking to know that it upsets people how you are with your ex. I mean, we're so amicable that we can talk about things like what I'm, what I'm about to bring up because oh, all the questions were about this. <laughs> so, okay, camera battery died right before I was gonna bring up the question that everyone has been asking. And I'm using Butter Bronzer. This is, you can get this at like Walmart, I think, in Target. Uh, Walgreens, I think, also has it. I'm just gonna be bronzing up my face and then I'll switch and do a little bit of contour. Not that I'm a professional or anything, but a few days ago on Instagram, I did repost or share a TikTok video that I made over on TikTok and basically alluding to the fact that I started seeing someone. And I mean, he's, he was in the video, so <laughs> everyone knew um, that that had, been, that had happened. And it's still new, so, um, but a lot of questions, obviously, as you can imagine, flooded in, and a lot of, when I put the question box up this time, it's been a few days since I did that, but it's not like anyone forgot, so that's a lot of those questions right there. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you guys want to know. I will do a Q&A centered on that whenever I'm ready. I'm not, like, ready at this time, but yes, I did, and, I mean, so far, it's going and what started out as like an instant friendship and like a chance meeting has kind of led into something else that's been um wonderful and Brian of course knows I would not be on here talking about it if he didn't know he knew way before anybody of y'all knew obviously because no matter what happened between him and I he's still the father of my children and I still want to respect him as a person because he's been showing me the same respect for a while now so i just obviously want to reciprocate that as well and um i don't know what to say about it um <laughs> i don't know i just feel so <laughs> i'm starting to go hot it's very it's very surreal and very weird to be talking about that on here but i, I didn't want to just post that on there and then come on here and ignore, ignore every question that you guys had put in there. A lot of them just said, tell us about the situation and tell us about him. Um, but I'm going to let him tell you guys about himself when that time comes. Um, yeah, so it will happen, I'm sure. It's just going to be a matter of whenever I'm ready. Like, he's already ready and I'm over here like, <laughs> I'm not. So just, I mean, on TikTok though, I do have some um, videos up 
just likes little fun ones if you guys want to see that. I think my username is the same as it is here. I'm not 100% sure I could be wrong, but I think it is. So just go over there and you can kind of get like a little, like a little look-see, I guess, if you guys, oh my gosh, that sounds weird. I got to move on to the next question though, because now I feel like I'm just sitting here tripping over words. Uh, the next question is, when will you get your own place in Alabama so we can see you decorate it? I literally cannot wait for that, you guys. I am ready. And um, there's a few things from my house in Iowa, like obviously more of the feminine decorations that are mine <laughs> that I'll get. And um, I cannot wait to decorate my own space. Uh, however, I'm not going to move out until I graduate because... For one, I won't be working. I mean, I am. I probably am going to start working, I'm sure, a little bit closer to the end of this year, which that's kind of a long story in itself, but I want to go ahead and start um, working. I would, I'm helping out part-time already doing what I used to do, coding with a doctor here in town, but I eventually am going to stop doing that and probably go into the hospital to start working. I'm not really sure yet. If I'm staying on the same track I'm on now, I'll graduate next year in July, which is a year and a couple months away. So I'll move out at that time once I graduate and start working as an RN because I will obviously make a lot more money than working just part-time through school. And having my parents help when, when I'm going to be doing a lot more clinical and preceptorship at the end of nursing school, it wouldn't make sense to move out, move out right now anyways. So that's what I'm going to do. And... Um, so next, I'm assuming next fall, I'm assuming August maybe, maybe September next year. That'll be whenever I move out. And I'm sure my parents will be sad whenever I go because the kids are here all the time. Or maybe they'll have a party. Who knows what they're going to do whenever we move out. But um, I know my mom's going to be really sad because she loves her grandbabies and she loves having them here. And she, you can just tell that she's in heaven with them too. Um, this question is interesting. Not interesting. I just didn't really expect anyone to remember this. Um, they asked if my ex and I are still planning a Disney trip with the kids whenever he gets back from overseas. Um, we had actually planned a Disney trip before he left and we were going to go the March after he returned, which is this March coming up next year. Uh, I'm not sure if we're still going on that or not <laughs> because um, it was planned a long time ago. And I'm not 100% sure if he wants me to go or if, you know, we want to try as a divorced couple to go together. Uh, the plan was to take the older two girls. Um, they'll be 12 and 7 or almost 7, like almost like the month before she's 7. I cannot get my words out, you guys. So I'm not sure if that's still going to happen. If it does, I'll be surprised if I end up going because I don't know. <laughs> if he's gonna want me there or if you know he'll have someone else coming with him at that time i'm not really sure that'll just be kind of what happens whenever he returns and what he feels like doing i mean i still would go because i think it would be really great but um that's a long i mean i guess we could go and stay in different hotel rooms if we had to but i don't know that's a great question i'll have to ask about that and see kind of where we're at at that time next year Okay, this camera battery is also about to die. But the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray with my Morphe setting spray. It's the mattifying one. Super cheap at Ulta. And then once I spray with this, I'm just going to fan dry, put on lipstick, and then do my hair. And I'll be right back. Okay, I was going to curl my hair, but I have nowhere to go. <laughs> I'm just going to look like this for dinner tonight. Like I have somewhere to go, but I don't. Um, lip Lipstick. I did the MAC Spicy Lip Liner. Is it called Spicy? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's Taupe. I can't remember. It, I'll link it down below. I had MAC Lip Liner and NYX Abu Dhabi um, Lipstick. This is what I always wear most of the time. If I do makeup, it's usually always this right here. I'm generally pretty fast at it because um, I don't have to talk during it. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not the best tutorial, so if you have questions, you can ask me. Otherwise, everything's linked down below. Hopefully, I was able to answer enough questions to get you guys by for now. Um, look forward to fitness videos, recipe videos, hopefully. Um fitness journey videos. I'm actually going to start it for real because I need a goal for this quarantine to not gain 10 pounds because I eat bored. So my mom's dealing, I think for me or somebody else. So I have to go, <laughs> but, um, the perks of living at home with your parents. I think that's it. I'm so, I miss a lot of you guys. I wish I was filming more, but with nursing school being online, it's 
it's a nightmare. It's way easier to be in class. And I thought maybe it'd be a little lax being at home, but no, it's a nightmare. Um, but I miss all of you. Thank you guys for hanging out with my channel and I will see you guys soon. Bye.